Hi, I'm Janelle Shires, Youth and Family Program Director here at the Center for Spiritual Living in Seattle. We offer in-person youth program, kindergarten and up, on Sundays at 11 a.m. We'd enjoy having you with us. But if you aren't in the Seattle area or are just unavailable on Sunday mornings, these videos are meant for you to be able to watch at your leisure, take your notes, talk to your family when it works for you. That could be in the car, over dinner, whatever. But make sure that you click on subscribe below so that you're notified when new videos are posted. And let me know in the comments what you think of the videos. I'd love your feedback, um, how things are working for you and your family, and what else perhaps you might like to see more of. So this month we are doing happiness for youth and teens. And this week, it's about being carefree. So what does it mean to live carefree, to be carefree? It's to live from a place of effort, effortless ease. So we are all unique manifestations of the divine and we each have gifts that are unique to us. So you may be good at something that I'm not and I may be good at something that you aren't. And Henry David Thoreau had a wonderful quote. We must walk consciously only part way toward our goal and then leap in the dark to our success. And you might not think that at a spiritual center that I would be using the movie Finding Nemo as a spiritual example, but that's what we're doing today. So in part of the movie Finding Nemo, it's when Dory, remember Dory the lost fish, and her dad Marlin, who's very fearful. Well, Dory went off and Marlin's looking for her and they got swallowed by a whale. And so Dory's having this conversation with the whale and Marlin's not trusting what the whale is saying because it's either you're stuck inside the whale or you need to trust and go with ease with what the whale is telling them to do. So to summarize, the whale says, hey, I'm gonna spit you out and off you go, but you gotta trust me. And so Dory told her dad, here's what we're doing. And poof, out this boat they went. And they were able to get out and go with the flow. So that is an important lesson because we have different ways, <clears throat> excuse me, different ways that we can live carefree. Are we going to be with the flow or not? So I've got three questions for you. What does it mean to live carefree? Try not to worry, share our gifts and appreciate the gifts of others. And in the movie, why did Dory and Marlin have different experiences in the whale? Well, it's all about perspective. And Dory's perspective was that it's going to be okay. And Marlin's perspective was, oh my goodness, not too sure about this. And how can your thoughts affect your world? Similarly, it's how you see the world that you can determine your outcomes. So a craft for some of your children, maybe a little younger, that you can do is a fun little handprint. So I just traced my hand and then I outlined it and colored it in with some dory colors and the little sea grasses. So this is a way that you have a visual to remember to go with the flow and be carefree. And with your older children, a good discussion question or a topic is talking about the flow of water in nature. So out here in Seattle, we have some beautiful waterfalls and rivers and pathways. And water is a really good visual example of how it goes with the course of least obstruction, where if it comes upon a boulder, it's gonna go around it. Same with the travelers who moved from the East Coast to the West Coast before things were developed. They were trying to find the pathway of least resistance also. 
So you can talk with your older children about what that looks like in their lives. Even ask about perhaps what do they think is difficult in their life to do that is easy for others or what is easy for them that might be difficult for others. And the real big lesson is to rejoice, rejoice in that uniqueness and how we can be carefree, but in our own individual way. So thanks for being with me. And again, leave some comments below and join us on Sundays if you can.